Stage 12 today is almost 193 kilometers between Salobreña and Peñas Blancas. The final climb 19 kilometers at 6.7%. There is bound to be an almighty rumble to get into the breakaway as they have an excellent chance of going all the way. Well, it took around 50 kilometers for the breakaway to form and it was a big one. 32 riders going up the road with only four teams missing out. Cofidis, Groupama FDJ, Lotto Sudal and Kern Farmer. The pace was high, over 47 kilometers an hour, and they quickly had a decent gap with Groupama FDJ and Quickstep Alpha Vinyl pacing the peloton. Jay Vine made the breakaway looking for a third stage win in his polka dot jersey. Mark Soler was also up there once again. Other big names included Richard Carapaz, almost 20 minutes off the pace overall, and Alexei Lutsenko. The highest placed on GC was Wilco Kelderman, some 14 minutes down on Evanapool, so no major threat to the red jersey. Consequently, the gap soon yawned out to over seven minutes, and the stage victory would surely go to the breakaway. Samueli Battistella then went on the attack for Astana Kazakhstan, one of several teams at the front with multiple riders. The former under-23 world champion was trying to whittle down the breakaway for his teammate Lutsenko. Alperson de Koenig chasing on behalf of Vine. And then another moment of panic for Quickstep as Evanapool went to ground. It looked similar to Alaphilippe's crash yesterday. Luckily for the Belgian, no major injuries. The peloton just slowing up to wait for the race leader. The main bunch were now more than 11 minutes behind the breakaway who had reeled in Battistella. Evanapool sporting a bit of road rash but he was able to keep going and Louis Fafaka was soon called back from the breakaway to help him on the final climb. So 31 riders at the front preparing to tackle Peñas Blancas with almost 11 minutes in hand. Matteo Fabro setting the pace for Kelderman who was heading back into the top 10 overall. Little by little this leading group was thinned out. In the peloton, Jumbo Visma had taken over pacing duties with Rowan Dennis on the front. They managed to shave two minutes off the gap. With nine kilometers to go, the front group was down to around 10 riders. The first man to unleash was Eli Gebert from Arkea Samsic. That was the end of Jay Vine's bid for a third stage victory. The Frenchman opening up a small gap with four men chasing Kelderman, Marco Brenner, Carapaz and Jan Polance. Henrik Maas then tried his luck in the peloton but Renko Evenepoel was straight on his wheel. Carapaz then putting in a huge attack with 2k to go and nobody was able to stay with the Ecuadorian. He led by 10 seconds heading into the final kilometre. Look at the pedal stroke of Carapaz. There's no doubt he's feeling good today. Carapaz turns the corner and makes his way towards the line. This rider has had an awful first 11 days of La Vuelta. He's re remained every single day defiant and said that eventually things will come good. Well, today they are coming good. The Olympic champion, the winner of the Giro d'Italia, podium finisher in La Vuelta, the Ecuadorian eagle, bangs the handlebars, says to everybody, there you go, there's the form, this is what I trained for, I win the stage. Stage 12 goes to Richard Carapaz. The GC favourites finishing over seven and a half minutes down on Carapaz, with Evanapool showing no ill effects after that crash. On the contrary, the Belgian was first to the line, ahead of Mass, Roglic and Ayuso, with Carlos Rodriguez losing a handful of seconds. Richard Carapaz takes his first stage victory at La Vuelta, having already won three stages at the Giro d'Italia. He'll now be looking to complete the set on the Tour de France. The Olympic champion also wore the red jersey for five days in 2020, eventually finishing second overall. He's looking to round out his time at the Ineos Grenadiers on a high note before joining EF Education Easy Post in 2023. Carapaz taking his 15th career win by nine seconds from Kelderman, with Soler passing his teammate Palance to complete the day's podium.
Evan Apoel led in the GC group in 15th place at 7 minutes and 39 seconds.